Hey guys, we got a special episode for you guys today, focusing on wine caps. Strafaria rugosa annulata, which is an edible saprophyte. In other words, it's fruiting buddy, the mushroom, which is what I'm holding right now, is an edible mushroom. And it's saprophyte, meaning that it breaks down woody material, eats the cellulose and the lignin and such in the material and breaks it down to smaller bits that it can utilize to build its mycelium, the body of the fungus. So let's take a look at some uh, of the very first patches of we got in 2017 in the spring. This one tends to fruit for us twice, uh, usually shorter, smaller flush in the spring and a larger, longer one in the fall and it goes quite long into December. Uh, and it all depends on how much food you give it, how much wood chips. So let's take a look at that. All right, it's the 28th of March. Now I was just chasing some deer out of here. And uh, just stopped by to take a look at these strawberries coming back to life. I noticed something interesting. You guys see anything there? That's a wine cap. There's a really small one. Where'd it go? Here? And then here, and there's the one. And here they are just a few days later. We've had warm weather, a little bit of sunshine as we have right now. So they've been growing really quickly. Wow, so I was only gone for one week. I went down to San Francisco for work, come back, and look at these guys. Most of the ones that we taped in the previous clip have been completely blown out. But there's a lot of new ones forming. It looks like there's gonna be more on the way. So they grow really fast and mature really quickly. And uh, at this stage, they're a bit too far gone for eating. Especially here, it's been really wet, so they're saturated with moisture. But let's just take a quick look at the various stages to help you positively ID this mushroom. Remember, don't eat anything that you're not 100% sure about. Better yet, have somebody who has eaten it and is better sure about it show you first. Don't rely just on pictures or video for that matter. So when they're really young, they start out uh, light colored. So kind of like this. And then as they slowly get exposed to the sunlight, they start to tan. In fact, uh, they do, mushrooms do have a lot of vitamin D in them. And then they progress to a darker color. You can see the little white splotches on the cap eventually fade away. And again, these are wet, so it kind of progresses a little bit faster. And then they go this kind of a dullish brown color. And then finally, to a more pale tan brown color, almost a white color. Oh. So 
So, let's see. There's a nice young one, well, two nice young ones. You can see it has this bulbous stipe. So the stem is thick, almost the same thickness as the cap when they're young. The cap itself again is that kind of maroon, dark red color with a little bit of these white splotches. You can see it has a partial veil, so this white stuff covering the gills. It's really thick and it's, you can see, already cracking at this stage. And it has a kind of earthy general mushroom smell, not very distinct, but specific to this mushroom. Uh, if you get used to it, you'll be able to recognize it. So then the next stage would be something like this guy over here. Growing next to the rhubarb. And this is probably the final stage I would consider for eating. Uh, much older than this and they're not going to be as good. Okay, but you can see the cap is open now. The partial veil sticks around on the stipe here. And you can see the slugs have been munching on this one, but you can see it has very fine gills and they are a gray wine stain color, very distinct. It's starting to rain. You can see they're happily growing amongst other perennials. Your uh, rhubarb is shooting up and we're going to pull off these flower spikes to put the energy into the crown. And yeah, you can see more rhubarb coming up and the uh, Strafaria mycelium there in the wood chips. There's some nice young ones popping up with the onions. And then, so finally, the final stage would be something like this one. When they're definitely past prime for eating, you can see the dark purple color of the gills. Resulting from the spores being produced. And you can often see that when there's two that are overlapping each other, this top one has probably deposited some spores onto the cap of this one. And sure enough, there they are. Of course you could do a spore print, but who has the time? Just jumped right over that. 
bottom, bro. Time to go. Come on. 